Okay, this is the fifth video on uh, how to use Excel to solve a project management network. <clears throat> and uh, this is, today's uh, video is very exciting. Uh, what's this? Uh, draw a uh, network diagram in uh, Excel. First, it's going to erase it, and now it'll start drawing the diagram. It's probably already drawing it in the background. It takes the, there we go. So, pretty quick, and um, this is a 30 activity network that it just drew. It does, uh, unfortunately, overlap the arrows in the boxes, but uh, I think it's a heck of a lot uh, prettier than uh, what's the uh, Gantt chart that's drawn in uh, Microsoft Projects. But uh, And uh, here's the Gantt chart that we, in video four, we learned how to draw. So let's see how we do this. A lot of the uh, calculations to do this are uh, in the network sheet and they are right here here you can see we got the a box width is 200 I guess that's pixels a box height 100 pixels and that's a 200 pixels is equal to six columns and uh, box height of 100 is equal to six rows and uh, with the column heights that I've got set. Let's see what that is. 15. So it's a column height of 15 and a column width of 5. So that's the uh, number of uh, pixels to uh, rows and columns. And a vacant row at the top is two. A vacant columns on the left will be three. Maximum vertical stack is three boxes. That depends on the network. The rows required are 26 rows. And number of columns of boxes is 18. And the total column width is 179. So all this is calculated in the network sheet. So here you see, here's our crashing table. So after the crashing table, we go into the calculations for the network diagram. So here we got the row of the box. And uh, put a one in the first, in row four, four, and uh, and then after that, put this uh, formula in. You can pause the video and uh, put that formula in. Or you can uh, download the file from uh, my website, which is uh, www.riversidesoftwareinnovations.com. No spaces between. And uh, here's the formula for this box. So let's see. Again, we just have a one in the first one, and then this formula in the second one. Then we have column of the box, and we have that formula all the way down. And you would copy that down to row 100. And there we have that row. And again, copy that formula all the way down. And then we have this row, column. Copy it down. Then uh, the Y of the top of the box. You can see the formula here. Pause, type it in, and copy it down. Here you can see this formula. Pause, 
copy it down. Whoops, you know that formula is different, I believe. Yeah, the first formula is different, it's this, and the second row of that column is this, and then you can copy it down. So be sure to catch that. Then we have, that's the formula for ULY. And that one's different also. Here, the first row you have that formula right here. And then the second row you have this formula. Then we have that formula in the first one. And a different formula in the second one. And then uh, up here we've got uh, this equation here in uh, AF2. See it right here, and then in Z1 we write this formula, and it's the uh, max of the number of boxes in a column is three, and I think we already covered this one. So then we have these box widths, two hundred, six columns. Box height is 100, six rows, and those are just typed in numbers. And then three for the y distance between the boxes. And then x distance between boxes is four. You just type that in. And vacant rows at the top is two. Type that in, just a two. Vacant columns on the left is three. Max vertical stack is three. And that's equal to this this uh, equation coming from the Gantt chart sheet. By the way, here's the sheet number, sheet names right down here. And then we have this equation for rows required, 26 rows. Number of columns of boxes is 18. We have that equation. And then we have total column width, 179 is this equation. And then we have Y center, 14 is this equation. We have that equation for Y center. Cell width, we have 30. That's just 30 typed in. And here we just have 15.168539. Uh, that should be enough. And then these are also uh, just typed in numbers. See, no formulas. That, now that has a formula. AO17 times AM17. And then this has a formula AO18 divided by 50. Now let's move on over. Now this starts our table of the arcs. So we numbered the arcs. And uh, we go down here, we're getting these uh, formulas. And uh, the total number of arcs is 40. And that's from the arrows sheet, C1. And uh, so put a 1 here for the number of arcs, and then there's the formula that goes to the number of arcs, and that can just be copied down. Then we got the row in the arrows table. Same formula, so just copy that formula down. Column in the arrows table. Copy that formula down. Then um, copy this formula down from activity. And here's the two activity for the arc. And you see the formula. Two activity. Copy that formula down. Row uh, from in the network. Copy that down. There's another formula. Really start a from. 
here's the early start of two. By the way, it did put an early start of minus one, so that it would be different than the actual first first activity into the network is also zero. So here we got early start of two. Here's zero. Copy that formula down. From box row position, we have this formula. Here we have number of boxes. Type in that formula, copy it down. Top of, let's, let's open it up a little bit so we can read it. Top of from box of column is uh, that formula up here. And then we have top of from box, this formula. Scoot on over here a little bit. And we have top of from box, this formula. Copy that down. Yeah, that's the same. Then y of from box top, this formula. Copy it down. And we have y of middle of the box of from. Let's uh, copy this down. Then we have the early start of the box column, ordered the ordered early start of the box column. So they're in order. And uh, that's this formula. Copy it down. Then uh, box column number, start with a one. And then the second row of that, you have this formula. And copy that down. Box column of from is that equation and copy it down. Now let's I keep saying copy down. Let's see what it looks like. You copy it down. I copy it down a hundred times. Actually, it's how many arcs you think there might be. Actually, if you had a hundred activities, you're probably going to have more than a hundred arcs. So you could copy it down to two hundred, say. How many? How many ever arcs you have? Forty. You see, I've copied that on down further. See where I'm getting still getting equations up there where it's blank. So now, okay, now the Visual Basic for Applications routine uses this these calculations in this sheet. It's in uh, four uh, to draw the network. So you can see how we get the uh, early starts and all that from the network and sheet and then we go draw the box we call upon the draw box routine which is here and mu much of those calculations are done in the spreadsheet that we just the calculations we just put and then here's the routine to draw the arcs and then we have to if you want to blank the page we can remove the shapes and then clear the network sheet of the text so let's see if, again let's run it and see how it works so that's all everything you need to make the network so let's try it now let's try control x Control X to clear the sheet. Let's try Control X. Sure enough. And then do a Control D to draw. Control D. And now we're drawing. And uh, it's, uh, it's slow, but it was a lot faster than it was. I streamlined it a little bit. There we go. So all these early starts, late start, late finish, early finish, and slack times are put in each activity box, and it shows the connecting arrows by the precedence diagrams, and the red, the red boxes are the ones on the critical path. Now if you crash it, you'd have to draw the diagram over. 
All right, that's uh, pretty much clear, uh, sums it all up. We're finished, and uh, now you can even uh, draw the network diagram. I agree it's a lot of typing in those equations, so I would advise going to the website, www.riverside software innovations no spaces.com and uh, download the file.